This is my resonant feedback system. Two pancake coils. One's a tri filler. I got a bi filler on the back of this front one, and I've got this one here. I'm not using that one. Right now, this is avalanching through microwave transformer. We're running 5.8 nano. It could be the dumping of the transformers. We're running 44.4 volts, various amps. It's an OPA 541 amp with a 1.5 megahertz limit on it and a 45 volt limit. Uh, this is putting out, this is an RG58 cable, I don't know. Point, there's the average going through it. I've got a single line, I'm not using the ground line out. I'm using the single hot line out, going through the coil, through the line, across the diode, single fat diode down there. Eh, it's warm. Got ground on this side, a heavy ground, good heavy ground. Hot side going into the transformer. I've got the cap box across the diode. I got the input side grounded. The one ground, the other one's the hot off the diode. This one here. The case is the ground on your output. You have the one hot wire coming out your microwave transformer it's got one output this is for your filament and uh, the capacitor this is a 14 watt uh, 0.12 amp 124 ohm bulb this is a 122 ohm output and I think that's a 0.1 ohm input. This is a very tight area to adjust to. If you move it any much more than a quarter of an inch, or an eighth of an inch anywhere, you'll lose that and it'll go off into some other sphere. This... puzzles me yeah this OPA doesn't need this big heat sink on it this is off a video card I put it on there good thing I did it's thermally protected I put all these heat sinks on it while you're tuning it if you do jack with this thing this thing can pull two point Come on your camera. 2.7 amps through this cable. Your amplifier, the OPA is pulling 1.74 amps and you've got no output. I don't know where it goes. I have no idea. So that's a confusing thing. That's something you'd have to watch for. RWG Research, he makes these coils. I made these myself a couple years ago. This is a 9 inch, 5 wind copper coil I had laying around. I just threw it on there. It's a yeah, 3 8 inch. It just has the single line off the amp coming in, a single line coming out. I've got the case grounded. I've got the cable with a ground on it. I've got ground. I've got the heavy ground on that. If you, this here is not bleeding right now. If you take its ground off, it doesn't seem to affect the output. And now you're getting bleeding. Same way with the cable. You take its ground off, it'll sit there and pulse also so it helps somewhere I have also run this transformer 
that's a 240 to uh, 24 volt. I have run this transformer, 120 to uh, 12 volt. It's a dual output. I've got all three of them to run on this system. This microwave one, I'd say, is the first one to actually pulse like this. Avalanche, call it what you will. But it's, like I said, it is a very tight region. You have to play with it and play with it. Look what you are got on your machines. I would suggest a clamp on. So you can get an idea at an ammeter to see how much current it's pulling. It may take more. That OPA cannot take more than 45 volts. I'm not going to burn the thing up. It's a 1.5 megahertz uh, amp over there. OPA 541 costs about $30, $40. That's the tri filler. The other one's on the inside there. Not using that one. I would suggest a heavy ground staked into the ground. Pipes may work, but uh, prefer a heavy ground. And that's what we've got. Looks like a mess. It also, yes, this is, goes into, did I knock something off? I may have. Mm-hmm. I may have knocked something off. Oh. That goes into the AM band. That's anywhere from 550 to 1600. And it's out of tune. And like I said, it's a very tight area. See, it, you can get it to glow. 0.14 amp. 44 volts. 0.2 amp output or through the cable through the transformer. You can get it to turn on, which is about as bright as that one there. Maybe this, I believe they're about the same brightness, which surprises me. So that's what I got. Contact, I believe he's still making them, RWG Research. Russ Grimes, he makes these pancake coils, makes them better than this, better than I made them.